Hi, this is Marlon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video was just a quick catch up on uh, some things that have been going on and to let you know some new projects I have in the pipeline. I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and of course thank you to all those that have subscribed in the past. As of today, I am over 3,000 subscribers, so thank you very much. I never knew this channel would, would grow and become what it is today, and so again, thank you very much. I also want to say thank you to all the people that have posted comments. Uh, some of you have great questions, and then some of you have great advice. Thank you very much. I also want to say thank you to the live stream company, which is owned by Vimeo, and they sent me out the Mevo Start Camera, which is what I'm using today. It's still kind of in the early release. Hasn't been released yet for uh, sale to the general public, and I was one of the early people to be able to get the camera and use it. So full disclosure, again, Mevo did give me the camera to use, and I am giving my honest opinion about the camera, and uh, I like it so far. I love it. So today's video, I have an unboxing. Uh, I am not usually one of those individuals that likes to become an early adopter. However, when it came to the Mevo, it was one of the things I saw it. I saw some of the reviews, I did some research, and I liked it, and I thought it would be great. And it is great for what we have used. I have spoken with other, many of you may or may not know that I work as a pastor. And so I meet other churches, both small and large, and I've, I've met other media directors, creative directors at larger churches, told them about the camera. And, you know, a lot of them weren't impressed with it, again, because I think the Mevo really excels kind of in this smaller to mid market where it really uh, is, is great. And so uh, it's, it's not good for everything, uh, but it can do what it does pretty well. So I like it. So today's video is another early adopting uh, thing I ordered, pre-ordered. I think it was just released in January. And I ordered from Sweetwater and uh, I, have a, I have it right here. So I don't do many unboxing videos, but I just wanted to record this. Uh, Sweetwater has this little, you know, Instagram post, new gear or something, and maybe I'll win something, you know, help out the channel. So let's open it up. <clears throat> My wife and kids, when they get a box, they think it's for them. It's usually for me and so, as usual, they open up my stuff. Not cool. Not cool. All right, so we get Sweetwater's thank you note. They're so nice. So nice. Look at this. Oh, it's called hashtag new gear day, hashtag Sweetwater. You do that, you win something. All right. Nick Grockock is my rep. I love him. Uh, he has helped me, uh, st Sweetwater sticker. He has helped me in the past and every time I put an order, I put something in my cart, I get an email like within a couple hours or the next day and he says, hey, you know, how's it going? I see you got a new uh, new thing going and so really thanks Nick. You're a great guy, appreciate it. All right, so what I have today is the, it's made by the company SSL. If you know that company, they do um, audio boards, mixing boards. The company's official name is Solid State Logic, and I have the two plus two in, four out USB audio interface. Right. Lovely package. And all I can say is, ew. All right, it's made in Oxford, England. All right, so uh, the reason I got this, let me take that um, picture for Sweetwater. I guess, I don't know, it would be good to do. Thumbs up. This is from England. Brexit. <laughs> America. I don't know. We got something here. All right, so that's for that. So the reason I got this is I'm experimenting with uh, audio interfaces in conjunction with the Mevo original camera. Now, uh, I showed a video a little while ago about the Mevo camera and using the Mevo Boost. Now, the Mevo Boost is, is great. I love it. I wish I would have got it earlier, but I was kind of cheap, thinking that it was just a battery. Well, it's more than just a battery. It's also a network connection, and it also has a USB port, which allows you to da -da -da -da, add one of these to your system. Great preamps, and it has two 
inputs again so i can do two shotgun mics two lav mics a variety but it's not going to work with the mevo start as of now i do not have the network adapter for that but i got this and so i wanted to use it so let's open it all right and in the coming weeks i will also show you how i'm going to try to incorporate this into my setup lovely box lovely cardboard has nice <laughs> simple manual i love it great great got usb cables usb c to c and a usb 2 to usb c all right here it goes Ooh, it's so beautiful now i chose to get the two plus and the reason i got the two plus is because many of you may or may not know i play keyboards and so i'm looking at expanding Ooh, feels nice I'm looking at expanding my mobile rig so that when I go to places to play keyboard, I'll just bring a USB controller, this, and an iPad. Boom. So, so much easier. All right, so there we go. This is it in its, all its glory. Beautiful looking thing. Sorry about the reflection. There it goes. I'm also trying out a new studio setup here, so... Forgive me if things are blown out a little bit. Okay, so that's that. I'm not going to spend too much more time on that because you'll get that. I really quickly just want to go over some settings. Again, this is my new studio setup. I'm using the Mevo Start camera. I'm using my old Video Mic Pro shotgun microphone. And I have this soft box which is holding about six or four LED dimmable lights uh, tuned at 3000 Kelvin and they each one is supposed to pump out like 4000 lumens so um, right now I'm just gonna do some quick adjustments on the Mevo camera right now it's in auto and let's see if I can improve this because I wanted to try this out okay so let's go to it's at normal um, it looks like in my iPad that some things are blown out. I see this is kind of blown out a little bit in my hands. Uh, let's see if I can go to, let's, let's go to stage first. Ooh. Okay, so just looking at the monitor, I think it reduced the blowout. So again, so I have this big soft box right above me and that seemed to fix things. Let's try this. Let's bring that white box. I want to see what the camera does when I bring this big white box up. Okay, notice that it's, it's trying to expose for that. Does the exposure go up? Yeah, it goes up a little bit. And when I bring this into the frame, the exposure goes down. So it is trying to compensate for that. Now, I know this is not right, but I'm going to backlit. Uh, that looks worse, I guess. Again, I'll have to look at this in the video. Outdoors. Hey, outdoors looks kind of, well, no, I guess not. So I'm going to try to make some manual adjustments to see, again, just using the iPad as my monitor. I wish there were some kind of like false colors. That would be really great inside the Mevo app. That way I can uh, expose to skin tones. That would be really cool. Uh, let's go to um, auto and then custom. Let's go to, okay, so I'm going to do, well, let's just start, start with normal. And then I'm going to put the camera mode into manual. Okay. It shows that my shutter is at 130 and ISO 200. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's go into my white balance. It's at auto. That's tungsten, which I believe is supposed to be that kind of warmer, but it's not an accurate color. Fluorescent, not good. Daylight, it shouldn't work. No. Cloudy, no. So I do have to admit that the auto white balance has, I've been most successful setting that. Again, I wish Mevo, if you're able to do that, give us a custom white balance in which we could nail that down now the good thing about going into custom mode 
is that we should not see the camera try to adjust for exposure. This is still going to see, my skin tone is still going to be the same, right? So one of the advantages of going into manual mode is that when you do introduce new things into the frame that it's going to expose for, you will not see those fluctuations, okay? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I kind of like this. There are other options I could do, which is brightness, contrast, and saturation. And, of course, flip. Uh, but just for fun, let's throw in some of these filters. I have the high contrast. Yeesh. Uh, flat. Well, I really do look flat. Okay. Black and white. I guess that's kind of cool. Old timey. Vivid. Oh, that's kind of cool. So the vivid, it pushes the contrast up 1.1 and saturation. Let's see. Kind of like that. Uh, from my eyes, this should not be as super blue. This is actually a gray. Ah, it's actually not that bad. I would want to move this exposure down. Let's see if I can move it down a little bit. Hmm. No? I don't see much change. Wah, 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 one down. Oh, there you go. So I think that looks okay, just... You know, and I would have to look in some scopes and stuff. Oh, scopes would be good. Um, okay, so I think that's all I wanted to do today. So again, thank you for those that have subscribed. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I gotta say thank you to my daughter. My daughter handles my Instagram account. There's just so many new new technology, new technologies that I'm focused on and learning a social media technology is kind of like low on the list. So I pass it off my daughter and um, today I hope to reach out to somebody. So again, feel free to reach out to me. I will do my best to get back to you. And if I can help in any way, I will do my best either to help you directly or point you into the right direction. So thanks for watching and uh, look forward to the next video. Oh, I forgot what's coming in the pipeline. What's coming in the pipeline? Well, I'm going to be improving on something I call my super stick. And the super stick is a thing I'm trying to work on where I can use the Mevo Start camera and have many options for microphones, even for external recorders. So it will be a, kind of like a portable studio that I'll be able to take around and use in a lot of ways. So that's the super stick. The other thing I have is I would love to compare first gen Mevo, the new Mevo and the start, do a little shootout between all three of them, uh, see how they work together. And lastly, one thing I'm hoping to do as we get more subscribers, I would love to do a live stream. Isn't that what the Mevo camera is for? Live streaming? I haven't done that with this with you. And so in the near future, I hope to do that. Maybe answer some of your questions and uh, kind of showcase some new projects. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.